The Joy-Con charging grip is an important accessory to obtain if you're gaming on the Nintendo Switch. Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, the original grip that came with the Nintendo Switch console does not charge the Joy-Con controllers. Unfortunately, Nintendo is making you buy this different peripheral. This costs 30 US dollars or 40 Australian dollars and 40 Canadian dollars if you're in those regions. Now, I believe this is to keep the cost down of the system, but also, of course, to make more money on different peripherals. If you're interested, though, I do have my unboxing video of the Nintendo Switch up as a card on this video. I also unboxed the Master Edition of Breath of the Wild and I unbox the Pro Controller, so you can check out those videos if you are interested. This one looks like it's slightly different than the original that's included with the system, because this one looks like it's hard plastic that's not transparent, and this one looks like it does have some clear plastic. Now the packaging for all of these peripherals is cool to me because it's going back to the iconic Nintendo Red. On this side here we kind of have a nice green color showing you this system being charged. On the other side it shows the Joy-Cons going in with a blue shade. I really want different colors of a lot of these accessories by the way and the Joy-Cons other than neon red and neon blue. On the back it tells us some information about this. Here it says attach the Joy-Con controllers to the Joy-Con charging grip for increased play control or a handy charging station. It also says here though, which I don't want people to miss out on, the Joy-Con charging grip can also be connected directly to the AC adapter, so you can connect it that way to charge this. Let's open this up and see what we've got in this box. This comes with a USB charging cable that you can plug into the system itself. I'm not going to take that out of there for now, but I do want to look at this because this is the important part. Just going to move this to the side. So this is clear plastic. It's transparent, translucent plastic. This goes back to the days, almost the wonderful collectible days of the Nintendo 64 and all the transparent different colors they have, like extreme green and atomic purple and jungle and all those kind of things. So maybe not a controller in itself, but this is a charging grip. The only difference between these two, other than the fact that there's clear plastic compared to solid plastic, is on top. You see right here where the micro USB, I think C charging cable goes in, but it is not included in this. Why Nintendo didn't include this is absolutely beyond my reasoning. I feel like this is not that expensive for them to include with the system itself. I do feel like Nintendo's probably capitalizing and making a little bit more money. I feel like this definitely should have been included in the system. So that's my main gripe with this charging grip, the Joy-Con charging grip. Why Nintendo didn't include this actually with the system? So let's put the Joy-Cons in. These are usually really easy to get the Joy-Cons in and out of, as opposed to the grips, or what are they called? The different wrist straps. The wrist straps are really difficult to get them in and out of. So the handles, you can see that the handles are still a little bit transparent, but these go in and out really easily. So while they're connected to this, as long as this is charged, because it does have a little battery pack in it, this will charge your Joy-Cons while you're gaming. Normally to charge your Joy-Cons, you have to put them within the Switch system itself, which is not optimal if you want to be charging them on the go or playing this on the go or anything like that. So I know there's a battery in here that probably costs Nintendo a little bit. I mean, they're selling this for $30, so it probably costs them something like $10 to $15 to produce. But this on its own, just the plastic version with the steel on the side, probably costs them $5 or so, so I really do wish this was included with the system. I feel like this is almost a mandatory accessory for you to get eventually when you're gaming on the Nintendo Switch. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment below. What are your thoughts on this charging grip? Do you think it should have been included in the system or not? I feel like it definitely should have been. Feel free to fill that like bucket, follow me on all the social media links in the description below the video, and remember as always, go collect them all and keep smiling while gaming.